Hey guys, welcome to Haitian Crow with Luciano. Um, today we're gonna do a little bit of story. Um, the story is about a dog. I assume it's a security dog because it talks about keeping people safe. Um, so I think this is a British tale um, that I translated into Creole and then we're gonna try to translate it back into English. So um, and by doing that, we're gonna learn all the intricacies, all the differences and similarities between the two languages, how they relate, and um, you're gonna um, learn your, uh, try to improve your reading skills, your listening, comprehension, um, everything. So this is a very holistic, very um, well-rounded exercise. So um, yeah, let's get started. Histoire et un chien, the story of a dog. Histoire et un chien. So here you can see that um, the here in English is not translated. Um, so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like it's it's an intricate part of of the of the noun here. So the story of a dog. Histoire et un chien. Yon is yon is a one and so it's a it's a and definite article it's it's also the number one which has other translations as well um but um we'll keep that for later um, so yeah, histoire en chien. Bonjour, moi c'est Maï, chien famille. Bonjour, it's good morning. So I, I started the, the exercise earlier. Um, but yeah, this is already translated. Bonjour, good morning. Moi c'est Maï. Maï is corn. Moi, I, C, M. Moi c'est Maï. I am my or corn chef famille. So in Haitian Creole, um, when you're talking about possessive, when you have a possessive case, um, the the possessor comes after, and the possessee, the, the thing being possessed, come before comes before. So um, the family dog becomes chef famille. Chef Famille. We have N, the, E. Uh. Oh, this is A. Uh. Chef Famille. A. Uh. This is A, uh, and this is A. Uh. <laughs> this is not English. This is Haitian Creole. And that translates as the. So, A, uh, A. Uh is the um, chef famille, famille, the family, famille, the family. So you can see here too, it's a possessor that takes on the definite article and not the thing being possessed. So the family dog, chef famille. Moins aidé qu'un bémoun à sécurité. Especialement na la rue. Moins aidé qu'un bémoun à sécurité, especialement na la rue. So this is right here. Let's see what's in bold. It's the Haitian Creole. Okay. It's in bold here. Look. Okay. It's like I help keeping people safe. Especially people in the street, the street or the streets, in the streets, whatever. Um, moi aider can be moon a security, especialement na la rue. Okay, so here, moi. Let's put that in bold. 
differentiated better. Moins I et de help can be skipping moon people en sécurité safe uh, um, which is like kind of en sécurité is like insecurity word for word translation here especialement especially not like Right. It's special man. That would be special man. If it's people in the streets, it, it can be translated as moon na lali. Okay, moon people na in la la the ri streets. I help keeping. I help keep people safe. Keeping. I help. Keep people safe or keeping people safe. I help keep people safe. I help keep yeah people safe, especially people in the streets. Okay. I help keep people in security. In security. Okay. Fais un cadre dans le journal personnel moins yo. Fais un cadre dans le journal personnel moins yo. Et où est ça m'a fait semaine passée? Ah, take a look at my personal journal and see what I did last week. Ok? Fais un gardé. Take a look. That's an expression here. Fayon gadi. Take a look. Take a look. Fayon gadi. Take a look. Fay. That's so annoying that Microsoft Word doesn't have Haitian Creole as a dictionary. I take offense in that. That really sucks. So yeah, fair is to make. Um, a fair young guy, it's like make a make it look. I know that doesn't sound right, but fair like if we if we had to translate it literally, that's what it would be translated as. But um the expression is take a look take a look fair on gade um fair on gade sometimes people also say fair on tigade so they would say fair on tigade but yeah fair on gade non journal personnel moyo in my per take a look at my personal journals journals because this is moyo okay so it's gonna be weird here. Let's see. Let's bring that here. Okay. Fais un gardé dans le journal personnel moyo. Et où est ça m'a fait semaine passée? Take a look at my personal journals and see where, see what I did last week. Okay. So, no, so. so Na journal personnel moins yo. Na like in journal personnel personal journal moins yo. So this is the possessive uh, possessive case here. So in Haitian Creole, you put the possessive pronoun after. For instance, if you had to say my house that'd be like kai moin here or kai moin um my car would be machine moin my wife would be madame moin so yeah so in Haitian Creole, 
the possessive pronoun comes after the noun I know this is counterintuitive for you guys that are <laughs> native speakers in English um, but that's the way it is um, even in French even in French it's like my, my car would be ma voiture uh, my wife would be ma femme um, and, and uh, this is very different um, when you look at all the other Romance languages because in Spanish like uh, mi carro Mi carro se carro sa mi carro o carro carro I don't know you guys tell me because you're probably better at this thing uh, um, but yeah eh, eh, my farm would be mi mujer so this is very Haitian grill specific okay so okay my my car my shin my my wife my dumb one so yeah um Faire regarder dans le journal personnel moins yo my personal journals that ends with yo et ouais ça m'était fait semaine passée and et ouais si ouais that's what see in Haitian quoi what ça I did m te fe. so te is a uh, is the past tense marker in Haitian Creole te is past tense marker so if I if I wanna say because in Haitian Creole you don't conjugate the verbs you just use these markers to express um, if you're doing something right now if you're doing something in the past or if you're gonna do something in the future so um, you don't really have all these things that you have to conjugate in like in French or in Spanish um, you just uh, use these markers so te is the past tense marker in Haitian Creole but some te fe, te fe remember fe is to make what I did to make or to do actually but I did last week something fait semaine passée semaine is week okay semaine week semaine passée last week semaine you can say semaine as well semaine passée semaine passée or semaine passée is the same word I just don't wanna uh, this is painful Semaine passée, last week. So yeah, fait un gardé dans journal personnel moi yo et ouais. And see, Sam te fait what I did last week. Semaine passée, yeah. So that's the journal of Mai or Con. Dimash. Dimash is Sunday. Gen kek timoun ki realman. Pas réfléchi. 
there are okay so again it would be there are there are Timon child or children he who or that Realma Realma is really um, Pa is the negative marker in Haitian Creole and Reflechi is to reflect or to think so again, okay, ti moun ki reyelman pa reflechi is actually can we turn to this as some kids really don't think so that's actually um, the, the, the dog complaining about something that the kids did let's see so here tigasson boy voisin neighbor tigasson voisin noua te kouri de vayon machin jwen bouli de vayon machin it's not quite right let's see, de vayon machin pou lav chèche bouli so Pour la chercher, bouler. Century. Here we go. Pour la chercher, bouler. Machine n'a manqué frappé. Ok. Si garçon is boy, was a neighbor. Voisin noua, voisin noua would be our neighbor. Our neighbor. So, ah, uh, remember it's the. Remember, ah, uh, is the. So, voisin noua, our neighbor. So, the way they translate that in Haitian Creole, it would be a sentence structure like if you had to. And to that in English, it would be our neighbor the. <laughs> our neighbor the. So, possessive first. So, one thing in Haitian Creole is that even when you use the possessive, um, you can actually use the definite article as well. So, our voisin moi, our neighbor the. So, but that doesn't make sense. So the way to translate to translate that is voisin is our neighbor. Okay. So our neighbor, tiga son voisin noua, our neighbor's kid, tiga son voisin noua. Remember the possessor after so tiga son voisin noua is our neighbor's kid ran in front of the car kouri kouri to run but they have the pass marker here t is a pass marker so so it's a pass marker. T 
take away so ren deva deva is before in front of your machine a car a car your machine um a car Pull al sheshe bully. Pull. Pull the four or two. Li. So, so this is Li we have here. Li is he or she or it. Al. or alley to go let's put that up like this just wanna just wanna have the whole text here why do I do that today okay Yeah. Um al Sheshe to go. Um Sheshe, remember Sheshe? Sheshe is to look for um to search oh yeah to go get or pick up go get pick up bully bullet ball bull is ball and you remember Lee So Li, so the thing is in Haitian Creole, the personal pronouns are the same as the possessive pronouns. So Li, he, she, it, he, she, it, which is the personal pronoun here, can also be his, her, and its. Okay. So, bull, ball, bully is his or her. Since we're talking about the boy, I will say his ball. Machina makif rapil. Machina. The car. Maki is almost Maki Flapel, Maki is almost, yeah, almost or fail to Flappe is hit. That can also be knock. And frappe li to frappe li hit him. So let's translate that all together. That would be the neighbor's boy ran before a car to go get her ball the car almost hit him so
so yeah it was a long one <laughs> now let's read everything we've translated so far the story of a dog histoire yon chien good morning i am my corn the family dog bonjour moi c'est maï chien famille i help keep people safe especially people in the streets moi aider qu'un be moun en sécurité especialement dans la rue take a look at my personal journal and see what I did last week. Fayon gade journal mwen yo. E we sam te fe semen pase ya. Sunday. Dimash. Some kids really don't think. Gen kek ti moun ki reyelman pa reflechi. The neighbor's boy ran in front of the car to go get a ball. Ti garçon voisin noir te couri devant yon machine pou l'al chercher bully. The car almost hit him or he almost got hit by the car. Machine nan manke frappe. See you next time.